Forms can be found in many fields, ranging from food forms like bread, ice cream or marshmallows to engineering forms like building insulations or modern lightweight construction materials. In these examples the forms have solid walls. The forms that I discuss in this slideshow, such as beer foam and bath foam, have liquid walls. How those walls form and how they maintain their strength has been a perennial puzzle that goes right back to Newton and his experiments with soap bubbles. What he saw was that was what we have all seen, but being Newton, he was able to take his observation of a common phenomena just that one step further. By comparing the bubble color at a certain stage with the color produced by gaps of known thickness between two pieces of glass, he was able to calculate the thickness of a soap film that had drained to a uniform silvery color corresponding to 18 nanometers, which means that his soap film was around 500 water molecules thick. That's about 10 times thinner than can be observed with the naked eye. What is the origin of these beautiful soap film colors? To understand this, let's consider a section of a thin film of water as shown here. The film has two surfaces, A and B, which are separated by the film thickness D. Light is a wave, similar to the water waves hitting the shore as shown in this satellite picture. In our drawing, the peaks of these waves are drawn as green horizontal lines. From the side view, we can depict our problem in three dimensions. When the light hits when the light wave hits the surface A of the film, it is being reflected. This is similar to the light hitting the surface of a window in a night train. Of course, the window also reflects the light in a day train, but then there is much more light coming from the outside that is that this overcompensates the reflected light. Now, only a small part of the light is being reflected while the rest penetrates deeper into the film. In numbers, 4% are being reflected and 96% penetrate into the film. The light in the film now hits the second surface B and is again being partially reflected. In numbers, 4% of the 96% of the light in the film are being reflected. That is, 3.8% of the initial amount of light are being reflected on the surface B. At the end, 3.7% of the total light entering the film leaves the soap bubble in the same direction as the light from the first reflection. Now these 3.7% have been phase shifted, meaning that the peaks of the waves are at different positions in space and time than the light initially reflected from surface A. The two light beams are now undergoing interference which leads to the effect that some wavelengths disappear while others are being emphasized. This effect depends on the thickness of the soap film, since this determines the phase shift of the reflected light. Here you see an example of the different wavelengths of the light that is being reflected from a film with 1000 nanometer thickness. Although each wavelength corresponds to one color, after the light has entered our eyes, the brain mixes different wavelengths together to form one color. For instance, mixing green and red light yields yellow light. A surprise takes place when we mix blue and red light. A new color pink is being created which actually does not exist but is just a construct of our brains. Now, when the soap film drains by gravity, the interference pattern changes creating different mixed colors. For instance, at 750 nanometer thickness, the reflected light is a mixture of blue and red so that the film appears pink. When the film becomes ultra thin below 50 nanometers, no more light is visible from the reflection and the film becomes black.